Alright, so here we are in Crawley, UK. We've got a little tube set up behind me. We're going to go talk to some people about animal agriculture. So if we stop buying these products, okay. dairy, eggs, milk. From where? From the supermarket everywhere. Okay. Then they stop doing this to animals. Right. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're sort of... So what's the alternative then? There's plenty vegan. of, yeah, vegan alternatives. Then you know no animal was harmed, killed, exploited, yes. mutilated. Uh, animal agriculture, the dairy industry, egg industries, uh, meat industry. I've been vegan since January. You have? Yeah. No, what? Yes, yeah, sir. Stuff. off do I? If you look on those screens there, dude, like the egg industry mincing up male baby chicks, the dairy industry separating calves and killing them, right. you know, mincing up mothers that have been exploited for four or five years into hamburgers and little kids eating them and not even knowing that they're eating the dead body of an animal. Some vegan. eggs, I've eaten some eggs. Oh, that's yeah. not really... Morning, that's no, it's pretty not. much vegan. Well, well, you want to come and have a look at the egg screen, dude? Have you seen the eggs? No, it's my little treat, it's my little vice, the they, they mince males up alive and, uh, the, on their first day of life because they, they don't lay eggs, so they just destroy them. But the main thing is, like, we're against animal cruelty and we pay for it to happen. We're eating these animal body parts and it's just not needed. We don't need to. Yeah, that's true. Is this the first time you've seen, like, the egg industry and all egg laying hens are actually killed when they don't produce eggs anymore so it's about 18 months so it's just the same as the meat industry really yeah, it's long enough to knock, eggs on the head. knock eggs on the head brother do it for the animals <laughs> but the males are killed on their first day of life they're dropped into a big blender when they're fully conscious but a lot of people don't know that they just eat the egg and they just think that's not meat but when you eat meat do you see an animal or do you just see just see, just see food yeah that's interesting hey they impregnate a cow about one year old and then when they get the calves they take the calves away from her it's pretty distressing if you see they mourn and pine and the females will go off to be dairy cows the males will usually be killed sometimes in the first three days 72 hours females will be then they grow them to about one year and forcibly impregnate them and this cycle happens year after year after year so that's this maternal trauma and about four or five sometimes six or seven years into it when they stop producing enough milk, they kill them all, mince them up, usually for second grade hamburger meat. So that's for dairy products. Um, egg industry's not much better at all. This is a dairy industry, so he's forcibly impregnating her. You know, they ha harvest the male stuff and put it into the female here, and it's, yeah. Well, it's against her will. And then they take her baby from her. Dairy and egg industries kill all the animals. It's more female exploitation of reproductive organs and more maternal trauma and prolonged suffering. What she's doing there is called pining. She's mourning for her so stolen calf. Like, they keep the calf separate. Really, like, so the male calves are all killed. But otherwise they might raise them for beef and then kill them. You seem, this is upsetting, isn't it? Oh my God. And I don't it's think really upsetting. <laughs> stopping that is ever wow. gonna change, like, what's yeah. And, yeah. I mean, as a vegan though, if you had your own chicken at home and they laid eggs, would you eat the egg? Would I? Yeah. Personally, I, I prefer not to look at animals as resources or right. food at all. Yeah. I think um, the reason we have factories now is because we view eggs as food and yeah. there's, a, there's a demand. Yeah, yeah. So if we just stop looking at them as resources and eggs right. as food, this tackles the mentality we have yeah. towards animals. Uh, so it's all about how we view them. Yeah, that's yeah. It's an exploitation mindset, like I want a chicken for an egg. And eggs yeah. aren't food, they're yeah. high in cholesterol, they come out of a chicken's butt covered yeah. in poo. They're called downers, the so when they go so down, after... Are you vegetarian or vegan? No, because this is dairy. Do you know the, do you know the difference between a vegetarian and a vegan? Yeah, I was a vegetarian two years. Yeah, so no, dairy, the dairy is not allowed any, like, dairy. We well, prefer to, like yeah, we choose not to consume any anim anything from an animal. Because we know about all this, you see. That's a dairy cow, she's been exploited her whole life, had about four or five pregnancies, had their calves taken, and they get here, they go to a slaughterhouse to be killed, you know? And they get minced up and put in people's burgers, and there's cheese on that burger, and there's minced up dairy cows on that burger, and people are eating them, and they don't see any of this. They don't see the tears, they don't see... Yeah. It wakes you up, doesn't it? And we're about to go to McDonald's as well. You're about to go to McDonald's? You know they've got a veggie wrap. But I'm not going there now. If you get it without Starbucks, if you get a veggie wrap without there's some vegan options in Starbucks. I mean yeah. there's vegan options everywhere here in the UK, it's fantastic. Um, there's a good app. Um, it's called Happy Cow. Vegan Challenge is a really good resource. Yeah, I mean I think it's just the, the cheese and you know stuff like that that we and yeah. obviously now I'm feeding him food. Yeah. 
I'm being told by you know doctors that we must have cow's milk, we must have you know all these things. It's very hard to then. Yeah, I mean, doctors aren't really an authority on nutrition no. because they don't really have nutrition training. No. Um, I'd ask them for evidence that a yeah. little baby needs cow's milk. Yeah, yeah. It's a different species. Yeah, I mean, still having my milk, so I've. You know, yeah, I like, really want him to just, you know, carry it as much as he can. I mean, um, there's this nutritionfacts.org is such a great resource for health, and all okay. it is is just they go into the scientific literature and they have research scientists and they pull out the science. Yeah. Okay, so like, it's the best available evidence we have, and everything supports a plant based diet. I mean, yeah. dairy, eggs, and bacon are causing like chronic illness yeah. across the board, and you look at the population, what do they eat? They eat dairy and eggs and yeah, bacon yeah. and what are, what's the number one killer of human beings? It's heart disease and yeah. vegans aren't filling up the hospitals and if we needed cow's milk I should be dead by now. Yeah. I've been six years vegan. It's just, it's, it's, do you yeah. feel it's a bit strange that we drink from another species? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I always, I, you know, I, I, I try and, I think it is a mentality thing of we so used to it. Think of it, well I'm 32, conditioned yeah. by the same society for so many years yeah, and yeah, it's just like, you can get it as an app, it's really good. Vegan food near me and I'll just show you everywhere here where there's vegan food. Some great documentaries here as well. This is kind of what you're watching, The Pope and Glory. It's all filmed in England. And then this is about the environment and health as well. So, really nice talking to you. Wow, that was, um, that was really intense. That, that was just like their mind was blown. It was like they'd just been, she just got woke. Um, the process of dairy and eggs is so heart-wrenching, especially for a young lady like that. She was just really moved by it. And they're the sort of people we want to reach, people that have compassion and empathy. Um, it was just a really easy conversation to have. And they were about to go to McDonald's, and now they're not. They're going to find a vegan option. And the, big, the single biggest thing we can do for the environment is a vegan diet. And that big study came out at Oxford in February, Joseph Poor. You know, if you change your diet, you're addressing greenhouse gas emissions in probably the biggest way you can. You're addressing biodiversity loss. You're addressing water pollution, water, excess water use. It's this powerful way. It's in fact the single biggest way that a typical <laughs> consumer can reduce their impact. But yeah, again, it's more him now that he's telling me that it needs cows. Yeah, check out that nutrition yeah. facts and say cows yeah. milk for kids. Baby yeah. calves need a different macronutrient profile because they've got to grow really, really big. Children just don't need that. That no. what's human breast milk yeah, is what they yeah, need. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's the yeah. thing. They, uh, it's just surprising because they tell you that your breast is the best. They tell you to do as much as you can of that, and then they tell you to, to then take another milk. Um, oh no, there's cow's milk formula. Milk. There's really yeah. nothing yeah. in cow's milk that you can't get from plant foods, right. and that you can't get from a soy formula. Yeah. It's just isolated yeah, yeah. milk. Like there's no what calcium you can get from plants. Where do cows yeah. get it from? I'd, I'd sort of question the doctor and say, hey, like, yeah. do you have any research that shows that? Or yeah. what, what nutrients in cow's milk you can't get from plant foods that, in a healthier way? Like, I don't know. Okay. Fruits and vegetables, grains, nuts, yeah. legumes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the suffering. And I think it's good to instill these, like, especially if you've got a, a child, like, yeah. instill good values into them. And, yeah. you know, I wish my mum's always said to me, like, I wish I knew. Yeah. And I wish I knew she was feeding us all the animal products under the sun and she just didn't know. I haven't given him meat yet, but, but you know, I don't know. I feel not pressured, but I feel like it's. Yeah. Some people said to me, "Oh, but you know, you're you're taking away the choice to give him meat but if he wants meat." And I'm like, "Yeah, but." But you're not really giving him a choice. You're feeding him yeah, something he doesn't know yeah, where it comes yeah, from. <laughs> like a choice is like, hey, this is a slaughterhouse. <laughs> this is a dead. Do you like cows? Yeah. Okay, here's a dead cow. Do you want to eat that? Like, no, mum. Yeah, yeah. Like any child would choose against violence, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah. You know, and we were like, you're taking away the child's choice, you're forcing them. Yeah, yeah. No, you're forcing you're me forcing down their throat yeah. without telling them. Yeah. Like, if I was six years old and seen a pig get, the pigs are my favorite animal. And I've seen thousands of pigs be slaughtered now in footage. I've been out the front of slaughterhouses. If I knew when I was a little kid, I was eating a ham sandwich made from a real pig, I'd be absolutely mortified. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, where's your parents? Do they know you're seeing this? Do they know that you're watching this? No? That's your parents there. No? Yeah. And, I, and, and I feel betrayed now. I yeah. feel like, why don't you tell me? I love pigs. Yeah. I've been eating their bodies all this time. Like, 
but with the health thing, watch what the health, it's really fa it's fantastic. Yeah. It's just a really, doctors have got about three hours nutrition training that really. Whole food, plant-based diet, low in refined carbs and animal products has been proven to reverse heart disease, for example, our number one killer and confer potent protection against type 2 diabetes and cancer, two other leading killers. So how has this knowledge affected medical education? Medical students are still getting less than 20 hours out of four years on nutrition, and even most of that has limited clinical relevance. Some are good, some know a little bit, you know, but some just don't really have a clue. They know really a lot about acute things and like, you know, how to prescribe medication and stuff, but when it comes to nutrition, it's just... Yeah, it's not the best. It's really nice talking to you. He's going to be an animal lover. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problems. Challenge 22. Check it out. Thanks. Doctors telling kids they need cow's milk. Crazy. You're not a baby cow, bro. Why do you well, need I like breast milk? milk? Joey, He's not you need breast milk, milk from a cow. You're not a baby cow, bro. It is not unnecessary. I'm not a baby cow, bro. You're not a baby cow. Guys, you're, a, you're a human being. Guys, is, it's not unnecessary. I'm certainly not a baby cow, bro. <laughs> and, um... Something just dropped on you. You just got, wow. you just got good luck. Wow. Wait, let me get you with something, tissue or something. Do we have any tissues? My friend just got shat on. <laughs> Do you have any tissues? Do you have any tissues? Just my knee, just got pooed on his head. <laughs> my camera guy.